हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जेई मेंस 2005 इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर चैप्टर लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन इफ ओमेगा इक्वल टू जेड बाय जेड माइनस वन बाय थ्री आई एंड वी हैव टू गिवन कंडीशन ओमेगा मॉड ओमेगा मॉडल्स ऑफ ओमेगा इक्वल टू वन देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द जेड लाइज ऑन ए सर्किल एन एलिप्स एंड एर परोबोला ए स्ट्रेट लाइन First of all, we have to focus on that concept. What will we use concept behind this question? Simply, concept is that definition of complex number. Means, if we take any complex number, means what z, then you can write in coordinate form like x plus i y. What is x here? X is a real part of this complex number, and y. imaginary part of this complex number there is no any rule if you take any if you take always y is the imaginary part of the complex number when that term will take the imaginary part of this complex number which will be multiplied by iota means there y is a multiplied by iota then we take imaginary part of this complex number will be equal to y and real part of this complex number will be equal to z this is the basic definition of the complex number that we have to use behind this question in question it is given omega equal to z by z minus 1 by 3i and another given condition modulus of omega equal to 1 simply let's Take z equal to x plus y in coordinate form of complex number. Then we have to put the value of z in terms of x and y. Z equal to x plus y i y x plus i y minus one by three i. Then you have to take modulus to both side. Modulus omega equal to modulus of x plus i y by this term. then simply you can write here if we take squaring both side there is no problem you can take here easily means you can write here there is given condition modulus of omega equal to 1 then you can write here modulus of omega 1 means modulus of omega square equal to 1 square also then you can write simply 1 here and this is the value x square plus y square and this is the value x square y minus 1 by 3 whole square whole square simply we have to solve the equation when we this term from both side from this side to that side then we take easily this equation in this form simply you can cancel out the this term and you can write y equal to 1 by 6 y equal to 1 by 6 means what it is a type of a straight line this is representing straight line means when we draw a graph yeah when we draw a line means this is a y equal to 1 by 6 1 by 6 this is a straight line equation when we see the option z lies on you can see simply z lies on a straight line means d option should be correct option d option should be correct option if you have any doubt regarding this question and regarding this concept then you can also watch the video length around 2 or 3 minute and you can also read the book there is a two book here class 11th mathematics there is no need to read whole book you have to read only page number 97 line number 17 and you can also read the book algebra aryan publication page number 7 line number 1 thank you students